Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at one of my favorite characters from Rise and Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. It's Maurice from the NECA Series 1 Dawn of the Planet of the Apes action figures. While it wasn't problematic, it did take me a few tries to get him to stand in this upright position because uh, his feet, the way that they are sculpted uh, in their flat position, they, like they don't look flat, but they are flat. They do have like a kind of flat design to them. Uh, the articulation doesn't go that far forward. It only kind of rears back a bit. So I had a lot of instances where he kept wanting to fall backward. And unfortunately his ankles don't go forward enough to get him to lean forward. Nor do his knees go forward. You know, they hinge backward like knees would. So I really had to pivot him at the waist to distribute his, you know, weight forward. Now let's take a closer look at the figure. Because man, that face looks awesome. It's just such a great design. It's a good sculpt that really captures him really well, and the paint really does highlight it perfectly. First of all, look, his eyes are painted great, and then sculpt that little bag just underneath the eye there, and then all that fat around his face looks awesome, and then the sculpt of his hair, his mouth, and then that paint, that kind of yellowish greenish area going around, around his nose, around the edges of his fat, the paint looks really good as does the use of multiple kind of reds and oranges in the hair overall like on his head looks awesome and something that's really cool this little detail this little like flap of fat underneath his head like it moves when you uh, move his head like it's connected as a piece I think that's a really cool little detail because when you move his head it looks almost like organic tissue like material now Taking a closer look at just the rest of him, I think they did a great job uh, incorporating articulation into the sculpt while still maintaining the sculpt. I mean, yeah, you've got the ankle articulation. I like that this hangs over the back a bit. Uh, and the knee joint's fine, but what I really dig is the way his leg has this range of motion here, but how this kind of rubbery fur hangs over the edges and doesn't get in the way. It kind of just sort of goes with it, and I really dig that. There's so many, like, clumpy threads of hair this could have been a disaster, and I think NECA did a great job sculpting these clumps and using this material to kind of go with it. Same thing with on the top part of his torso. You've got, I mean, you can see the gap more when he leans back. When he leans forward, the way it kind of hangs over the edge here, but it doesn't look bad. It looks like it kind of blends in with the rest of the figure. Great sculpt and articulation. The two together meet really well and create a good looking figure. Uh, and then you could see just the, like, the amount of sculpting that went into that hair. And then they did a great job painting it all with these kind of darker colors that go in the middle, you know, where it parts, and then the lighter colors mix with the orange. I really, really dig what they did here with the paint and the way all these little sculpted ridges hang down, even in the crotch area, like it, you know, it, it in the stomach area too, it all kind of just sculpts downward, looks really, really good. Um, I like the way they sculpted his feet and how leathery that skin reads. His little knuckles look really good. I think this looks great. And even just like his toes and the little tiny toenails. Awesome, awesome work by NECA, including his chest area. And the uh, kind of orangish brownish stuff they used there for his little fat roll. And we'll take a closer look at his hands, which also look cool. I'm a big fan of, fan of orangutans in general, so I really dig what they've done with this figure. And all the way the hair, I'm talking about his hair a lot. I'm sure it's annoying maybe, but I think they did a good job with the way it all hangs down. I can't imagine sitting down and sculpting all this, so I think this is just insanely good work. And he does come with one accessory. Comes with his little red notebook. If I have one complaint about the figure, it's this. I wish the figure could sit. Granted, Maurice does walk around quite a bit in the film, but when I think of Maurice, I think of him sitting talking to Caesar or sitting talking to the kid. He's always sitting and like talking to people. Uh, and I just wish the figure was able to sit. The way his legs are uh, designed, he can't, and the articulation at the, the waist does not move forward in a way uh, that his legs get to a seated position. He couldn't uh, bend his knees the right way either, but you know, he, all he would do is kind of just lean back like that. But that aside, the way they get him to stand, it's really, really cool. Uh, I think Maurice turned out awesome. Well, it's going to take me a while to try to get him back into a standing position, but you see what I mean here. Um, he turned out awesome. It's such a great sculpt. I've gone on and on about how great the sculpt is. I think he looks just awesome. Thanks for watching.